A day of emotional impact statements from the survivors of the Freeman High School shooting. For weeks I can remember sleeping on my parents' floor. The trust that you build as a, ch as a child, that you can go to the store, that you can go to the pool, and that you can go to school and be safe, was shattered into a million pieces. Caleb Sharp opened fire, killing one student and injuring three others back in 2017. The Sharp pleaded guilty to charges earlier this month. Now, victims want Sharp to get the maximum sentence. Vanessa Perez is here in studio with what happened in court today. We heard from countless survivors who relived that September day, including Sam Strahan's aunt. He was killed that day, and her life has never been the same. And that's when I heard the words, I'm so sorry. Sam didn't make it. And the room started spinning, and I hit the floor. Wendy Adams says that day forever changed the course of so many lives. Fear, agony, pain, and horror and caused by Caleb Sharp. Sharp held his head down as we heard from survivors. The look I saw in his eyes that day and every day since is a look of pure evil. The look I saw in Caleb's eyes that day made me know of a sure fact that Satan is real. The trauma is still at the forefront of these victims' lives over four years later. Survivors robbed of their high school experience, joy, and innocence. My kids and all the kids at Freeman will always be survivors. Sam will always be a hero. And you will always be a murderer. Parents spoke about the moment they received a text from their kid as Sharp was out to kill. Mom, it's Andrew. There's a shooting. Mom, I'm scared. I love you. The agonizing screams of Sam's mom as she learned her son was killed. Now, along with gunshots, classmates screaming and crying, our son Will can add the scream of a mother who realized that she will never be able to hug her baby boy again. Avoid that can never be erased. This shooting was not a once and it's over life experience. Even if I tried to forget, the memories still follow me everywhere. Victims say sharp sentencing will never be enough to bring back Sam or heal the scars, but they don't want to see sharp roaming free ever again. Reporting in the studio, Vanessa Perez, 4 News Now.